Hi, everybody, and welcome to a special edition of Ask the AD. I'm Wyatt Thompson, the voice of the Wildcats. This is Mr. Gene Taylor, the athletic director at Kansas State University. It's, it's obvious that has been a crazy week or two. Everybody knows why we're visiting here today. What's the last couple of weeks been like for you? It's, I can't even imagine. Um, you know, it's been crazy. Um, a lot of phone calls, a lot of conversations. You know, it, this really caught everybody by surprise. There, there was not an AD in the conference outside, obviously, Oklahoma and Texas, or no president or our commissioner or anybody in, the, in our conference office that knew anything about this. Um, when it hit, it was um, very surprising, um, very disappointing in a lot of, you know, on a lot of levels. Um, and then we just kind of went to work and started, you know, talking about, you know, and there was a lot of, you know, memories, at least from a couple of people that were here 10 years ago that went through this before. So, you know, there was all kinds of emotions and discussions and, you know, anger and you know, <laughs> panic and all the stuff. And over the last couple of weeks, we've started to settle into, you know, really some more conversations and what, what are we going to do? What's best for the rest of the members? I think all of us understand what the history of athletics at Kansas State is all about and, you know, academic programs and all of that. With that said, what would be your message to fans as this conference realignment talk comes up some 10 plus years later now? I think we just have to remember the kind of program we are, certainly from an athletic perspective. You know, the championships we've won, how we've competed not only within the Big 12 Conference, but nationally, and some of the things we've accomplished, not just in football, but all of our sports and all of that. Look at our facilities and the wonderful fan support we have. You know, our bowl partners love K-State, love K-State to come to bowl games. Now, those kinds of things is what makes K-State special and will, will, will put us in a great position as we work through this, you know, the tr this transition period. You know, again, the goal is to keep this conference together as much as we can, with the exception of obviously Texas and OU. Um, but from a fan's perspective, they don't need to panic. We're in a great position and we're in a great, we're a great academic institution as well. And that plays a major role in this as well. I think there are a lot of terms thrown out there that a lot of people know and maybe a couple that, that are a little more difficult and grant of rights is one of those that I think people question. Yeah. You know a lot more than most. <laughs> well, <laughs> what about the grant of rights? <laughs> What's it mean for K-State? What's it mean for the Big 12? I'll be honest with you, Wyatt, the last, the first couple of years I was here, I, I just <laughs> pretended like I knew what sure. it was. Yeah. Um, but I learned a lot yeah. uh, in a lot of last conversations and basically what we did as a conference when we signed on with our TV partners we extended the rights for our television to our TV partners. And all, the entire conference signed on that. And so the rights for any of a Big 12 game is owned by the conference and our TV partners. And we have that until 2024, 2025 for all 10 schools. And the way I understand it is if one school leaves and goes to another conference and say they play a conference, of, the new conference opponent at their stadium, we own that game and we get the rights to that game. So let's say, for instance, that Texas was playing Alabama in Texas, Big 12 would own the rights to that game and, our, and we would get the dollars from that. Now, obviously it's very complicated, there's a lot more to it, but that's basically what it means. We have signed our rights over to the Big 12 and to our TV partners for uh, up until 2024, 2025. Anybody who leaves, we still own those rights and those dollars to those games, or they pay us back a fairly significant amount of money. You are watching a special edition of Ask the AD with Gene Taylor. I'm Wyatt Thompson. Thanks so much for being with us. I, I know you've had lots of conversations. You mentioned that. Uh, obviously, President Myers is involved in that, too. Give us a sense of the communication with you guys and, and what happens maybe going forward with you working with uh, the commissioner and, and many other people. Yeah, Wyatt, it's basically a lot of conversations, phone conversations, Zoom calls um, between uh, just ADs in the conference office, between the presidents and ADs. The presidents alone and chancellors have had several conversations with Bob. Obviously, I've communicated with President Myers. Um, everything from, you know, the importance of sticking together and everything, the importance of positioning ourselves as a institution and athletic program in the best position we can be, not only within our conference. Um, but really just talking, you know, from a strategy perspective, what do we need to do? What's best for the remaining eight members? And again, that's been a lot of the conversation and, and, and really just learning some things about, you know, the grant of rights and those pieces. And then moving forward, how do we move forward? The biggest thing is telling everybody, every president, every chancellor, we don't need to panic. We need to stick together. And that's been really the common thing. I, I know this is a difficult question, but I will ask anyway that 
people are asking, will K-State be in the Power Five when this is all said and done? What would you say to them today? Yeah, we're a Power Five school. We're a Power Five conference. We're going to remain that way. Um, and that's why, again, it's important for us to stick, to get, stick together. And, and that's what we're doing is positioning ourselves, um, you know, to be in, continue to be in a Power Five conference. And that's what I would tell you. We're going to compete this year, and we have a chance to – we're having a good year to, you know, be in the playoffs and all those kind of things. Sure. So that's not changing, and, and we don't anticipate that to change. Well, one thing that you and I have talked about over the years, too, is the passionate fan base that Kansas State has, and they've reached out. To, I know they have uh, to you, to me, to, to everybody. How, how can we help? What can we do? And, and I, I would start with uh, be here September 11th, <laughs> right? How about you? What yeah, do you I think, think? I think that's the biggest thing is still yeah. support K-State and, yeah. and don't panic and, and still come to the games. And, you know, <laughs> when Oklahoma comes into town, we need to fill the place. Sure. So we need to let them rem remind Oklahoma how important Big 12 is and what they're walking away from. And um, But more importantly, I think to not panic and, and that we are a great program we have a we we've always thrived on the support we've had from our fan base and and to just understand that you may not hear a lot of stuff but there's a lot of stuff being done behind the scenes we are talking constantly we're meeting two and three times a week and just because i'm not saying something to the press or i'm not or we're not saying something collectively doesn't mean work isn't being done because there really is a lot of work being done. Perfectly said. Thanks so much for your time and uh, continued success working through a very tough situation. You know, I appreciate why we're, like I said, really looking forward to a great football season yeah. and getting back in, in, into the stadium. And I, I would just, I would tell one more thing to our fan base. Okay. Please don't pay attention to the rumors. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff out there that is in social media that is not correct uh, about some school looking at this, uh, some school looking at that. Do not pay attention to that because that's not the case and we're doing everything we can to keep this group together. It's a great way to close. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks, Wyatt. Appreciate it. That's Ask the AD with Gene Taylor. I'm Wyatt Thompson. Thanks so much for watching.